Hi everybody, Chef Colleen here. Another beautiful day in self-isolation and we're happy at home, going through the pantry, seeing what we can make that uh, the family can get together around the table. And today is going to be tomato soup. Not the stuff from the really nice red can. Well, although a lot of this is from cans because we're not using nearly as fresh, uh, many as, as many fresh ingredients right now. A lot of it is canned or frozen. Um, I did find some fresh vegetables. I mean, I had fresh vegetables in my pantry in the fridge that I did use. So anyway, let's discuss. To get this started, we used a mirepoix, which is a combination of onion, celery, and carrots. And that's the basis of most soups, stews, even, even some uh, sauces, gravies, things like that. They're, they are aromatic vegetables. They're a great starter. So what I did in this pan, see how hot this is now, is this out of the way. And I warmed, I heated a four quart, a four quart um, saucepan. And then I put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of neutral oil, like a vegetable oil, a canola oil. So let the pan get hot first, then add the oil. When it starts shimmering and swirling, you know, you can swirl it and, and it looks, you, you'll be able to tell it looks nice and hot. Then put in your vegetables. And about a half of a white onion is a cup and two carrots, two medium carrots and two ribs of celery. And I gave a demonstration, but our camera glitched. So I'll, I'll try that another day. Um, but it, it'd be about like this. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be super small because we are going to put this in our blender later. So we're going we're gonna to use that. So that went in the oil with the one clove of garlic. About seven, eight minutes. Then I added two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we've toasted the tomato paste with the vegetables for about another four to five minutes. And that that brings out, it kind of starts caramelizing the sugars in the tomato paste. So it, it's this really nice, deep, rich color. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to take 28 ounces. These are um, whole peeled canned San Marzano tomatoes. And if, you know, if you're serving them for your family and you wanna spend the extra couple pennies, get the, the true San Marzanos um, because there are San Marzano style that are grown in California and things like that. But the true San Marzano's from Italy, and again, because I'm a little bit of a slob, I'm going to sink. Uh, they're, they're just so sweet. Their flavor is, it's just, you won't regret it. Let's put it that way. So we're gonna put our tomatoes in, and I'm going to put all this nice hot, so warm, all this nice hot vegetable I haven't learned to pour towards the camera yet. We'll work on it. That's going to go in there because again, we're going to grind that down. Now I happen to make homemade chicken stock. You don't have to use homemade chicken stock. Um, there's the ones that come in the box that are perfectly good. I just happen to have some in the freezer from what I made before. So we are going to use one cup of chicken stock and one half cup of water. So let's, oh, I love homemade stock. Yep, you know what? Got that much love? In it goes. And put the, put the lid on, that would be good. Let's see, do we need anything else to go in? I think we're good for a minute. Lid tightly on, and just because some of it's warm, put a towel over, and I start this on low. Come 
together for a couple minutes. And I'm gonna test that seasoning in just a minute. I tell you what, we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna clean this stuff up and then we'll figure out how we're gonna finish this off. Okay, I'll be right back. 